What's up YouTube? It's your girl Bianca V giving you all of me and today I'm bringing you a product review. Okay, so I know a lot of things been happening and, you know, the Black Lives Matters and we're supposed to be canceling certain people, <laughs> but, you know, people make mistakes. But I had ordered these products before that happened, so I'm just going to bring you the product review, Beast and Own Beauty. So this is the packaging that it comes in. Bam. And I just, I haven't opened it yet. I have this product for a few weeks now and I haven't opened it because I wanted to like be surprised with you guys, like have my first impressions be genuine. Um, so let's see how this goes. So if you see me looking off to the side over there, it's because my mirror is over there and then I'll show you guys. So I, I don't want y'all to be like, who is she talking to? Hard. And it comes like this. Basically the same thing on both sides. It says Beast and Bone Beauty. Uh, thank you for purchasing Beast and Bone Beauty. I hope you enjoy your purchase. Tag us in your post with Beast and Bone Beauty on Instagram for a chance to be featured on our page. Uh, and it just has a picture of Beast and Bone. I really like the packaging. I don't know. I'm, I'm like... Someone who will go to the store and, you know, see a display of things and be attracted to how the things look. But, you know, I really love packaging and how things are, you know, portrayed and how it's like a delivery. Like, wow me. They come on, num they come with numbers. So I'm going to do them in numerical order. I have a 4, a 5, and a 14. So the first one I'm going to try on is 4. And it's called Link in the Bio. And I know I ordered like a nude and a pink. Okay, so this must must be the nude kind. So cute. All right, let's see how you open this. Oh, it's a twisty. Okay, because it's a oh, liquid lipstick. So, so I'm gonna apply it. Mm, this one is really nude. This is the first brown I've ever gotten that was like actually nude. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay. This is the first brown that I've ever gotten that was. It doesn't smell. Um, that I've ever gotten that was actually nude to my skin tone. Like this really looks like my skin tone for real. And I, I love it. It doesn't give me that like pinkish nude and I hate those. Um, so this would be something that I would just put, probably put a colored lip liner around and wear. But I like this. I love the way how, I love how smooth this product feels. I would probably wear this more this color more if like my eyes were like more dramatic and I just try to do a simple eye look a kind of a nude eye look because I didn't know how these colors were gonna look but I like this and shout out to B Simone I have some earrings that say baby girl the second color I'm gonna try is the color number five it's called the B Simone tone Let's see, I think this is the pink one, y'all. This is how it looks. All right, let's try. This one looks more like a glossy look. That one was more matte. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is more like a gloss. Did I know that? Maybe I did and I forgot. It's like a... 
this one has more like a pigmented gloss. I gotta like do a couple layers because my lips are juicy. So. I do love me color. So what I would give this, oh, for the for the um, link in the bio, the first color, I would give a 10 out of 10. Um, for this one, I would give a 9 out of 10. It takes a lot of applying to get this pigmented of a lip gloss color, but it's a cute color. I'm not a glossy person. So I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this, but I really like it. I really think it's cute. A very neutral pink. It's not too bright and it's not see-through either. You can definitely tell that there's something there. So the, for the third and final lip color, it's color number 14 and it's called Visionary. I think this is a purple. I think that's pretty much why I ordered. Let's see. Let's see if I remember what I ordered. Because this joint, I ordered a long time ago. Oh, yes, girl. It's a purple color. Super cute. I have high hopes for this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Visionary come through. Color number 15. Now this give me a real vibe right here. I feel the vibes right here. Okay. Catch me. Okay, yes. This is me right here this is how i like to look in the fall this is usually a fall color for me but baby girl baby girl <laughs> this is a really cute color oh my gosh this really goes with the the, the vibe i'm trying to get for today the mood that i'm in for today Check me out, check me out, check me out. Boom, bam, bop. Ba 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 boom, pow. <laughs> Have y'all seen that TikTok? <laughs> but I'm really feeling this. Okay, so this is a 10 out of 10 for me, definitely. This is probably my favorite color out of all three colors. Um, You know, I might have to try some more. I just might have to try some more. Like, this is really cute. I'm going to probably wear this for the rest of the day. I'm just going to try. I'm going to try a thing. Okay. So, I'm going to take Mirage. This is really an affordable eye makeup palette that has a mix of mattes and a mix of shimmers. I feel like they're equal in amount. Um... Very affordable. I think I got it from Walmart. But the pigments, they they like that. I think it was like twelve dollars. Yes, I tried that thing and that thing worked. Ow. So, you know, even though I loved, I love, love, love Visionary by itself, like don't feel, don't feel limited to just use the product as is. Explore with the, what you got and use it in different ways. 
this is really cute overall i give all the the lip colors a 10 out of 10. i feel like they are very smooth they don't smell um usually with poor quality lip glosses or liquid lipsticks usually in poor quality they make my lips tingle i don't know if that happens to you but they let my lips tingle and it kind of leaves like a burn so i am trying to stay away from like the, the beauty supply um lipsticks that are like 2.99 those off brand ones that are probably like dupes of other brands i stay away from them because of the quality and how it leaves my lips um, before I apply these lip glosses, I moisturize my lip with the Pure Beast. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Daily Lip Nooch Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. Pure Lex. It's supposed to hydrate, nourish, heal, soften. It's petroleum free and it's best for all skin types. Alright guys, thank you for watching and until